what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is another school advice, school tips video, except this video is more focused on motivation because it's hard to stay motivated during this time of the year. It's kind of like the last lap in Mario Kart where you're almost done, except it's super hectic and frantic with like finals and just all of that stuff. But then you can see all of the holiday and Christmas time stuff in the future, but that's still a little ways away and right now is just stress. So let's get started with these tips. The first one, I actually saw someone comment this on one of my other school-related videos, and that is to stay focused, give your phone to someone else, whether that's like a roommate or a sibling or like, I don't know, a parent, whatever. Giving your phone to someone else makes you obviously not be able to check your phone and go on TikTok. Next one, disable all of your notifications on your phone, on your tablet, whatever. So you're not getting iMessages and seeing Twitter notifications and seeing just any notifications, just disable them or if you don't want to do that just disable like the little sound thing or like the drop down notification that comes you know like on your screen right here and like in all these videos everyone's like establish a routine but when you're super stressed or behind literally you just need to get the work done get things done whenever you can sometimes it's hard to stick to a routine at the end of the year so it's okay if you keep straying from your routine just as long as you're getting things done it's okay and then if today isn't the due date then it's not the due date but actually like that quote has a lot of relevance because essentially it just means prioritize your tasks so do all of the stuff that's due the soonest first and don't do something that's due in like four weeks right now just prioritize your tasks based on the deadlines next create to-do list and you might be like Susan Literally, that's so stupid. All of these videos say to create to-do lists, but don't click off yet. But instead of creating a to-do list for the task, like I don't know, do the dishes, do my math homework, create your to-do list with the time. And by that, I mean on your to-do list, write 30 minutes of math, 30 minutes of science, 30 minutes of chores, whatever. Instead of being like, do all of my math homework that's due for the next three weeks. And for some on your to-do list, it may be easier to say, do math homework nine to to 11 a.m. And for others, it may be easier to say, do two hours of math homework. Also, don't spend more time making the to-do list look pretty than actually like accomplishing stuff on the to-do list. Next, have a planner or a free digital planner, whatever, that has every single assignment listed and every single thing and event that you have to get done. Just have that be your master list so then you can refer to it every single day when you make your to-do list or when you schedule your week. Next, rank all the tasks on your to-do list from easiest to hardest or from hardest to easiest. Basically just rank them and some days it may be easier to go from the hardest to the easiest task and other days you may want to start at the easiest and slowly get harder. Just by ranking the task basically you'll be able to maximize your productivity and maximize your time. Next, when you're planning your week, if you're planning your week, organize your week so you can get all of the harder stuff done at the beginning of the week and then save the easier stuff for the later end of the week week. Obviously you may not be able to do this every single week or if at all, but, but if you can start with the hardest thing and then move to the easiest thing and save all the easy stuff for Friday. Then every few days or every few weeks, take a second and reflect on your work. Does that make sense? Basically reflect on what works for you and what isn't working. If you reflect and you realize, oh wait, I can't do anything in the morning, then don't try to do anything in the morning. Maybe morning's not your best time. And then finally, Finally, when we're very, very stressed out and very, very behind, and I say this only if you're very, very, very behind, so if you're not very, very behind, don't do this at all, but if you're so behind on one of your online classes, binge watch all of the lectures all at once, just schedule out 10 hours, and then do the assignment right after if there's an assignment that goes with the lectures, because then all that will be fresh in your memory, and you'll probably forget it all immediately afterwards words, but it'll be fresh in your mind for when it needs to be fresh in your mind. And I'm not saying do this normally, but only if it's your last resort. And now how to stay motivated to get all of your stuff done because it is hard. Number one under motivation is treat yourself. So basically if you're finding it really, really hard to focus, reward yourself after every single task that you've gotten done. Spent five minutes doing math homework, Hershey's Kiss. Spent 10 minutes doing physics, 
M&M's. Maybe you don't like chocolate. 15 minutes of reading coffee break. Whatever keeps you motivated. Next, create playlists. Create playlists for motivation. Just put Ariana Grande successful on a playlist and just listen to it on repeat and that'll help you get stuff done. Or maybe create playlists for like essay writing. Just there's certain songs, all too well by Taylor Swift, that are very, very good for essay writing because of their lyrical components and amazing songwriting that gives you like the energy you need for good essay writing. Does that make sense? I hope so. Often you're gonna have to change your mindset too. Instead of being like, oh, I have to do this, change your mindset and be like, yay, I get to do this. I have the opportunity to do this. Another one, pretend like you're vlogging your day. That for some reason just makes it easier whether or not you actually post a vlog. That doesn't matter. Just pretend that like you're vlogging your school day or make a TikTok vlog. Sometimes, even if you do every single thing right, sometimes every single thing goes wrong and that's because there's so much stuff that you can't control that no matter what, you're doing the best you can and that's the best that you can do. And then this one is so you don't fall asleep at your desk and that is to put shoes on because that will trick your brain into thinking you're like out in public. So it's not like you're gonna fall asleep in the middle of a coffee shop. Or put on makeup while you're doing your homework because number one, putting on makeup gives you a good break. Number two, it's creative. And number three, if you're wearing eye makeup, you're less likely to rub your eyes or fall asleep because you're not going to fall asleep with a full face of makeup on. Maybe you will, but probably not. Don't spend too much time thinking about what you could be doing or what like the future could be like. Obviously, you do want to still spend a little bit of time thinking about your future, but don't spend all of your time being like, oh, I could be, I don't know, partying in Miami. Why is that the first thing that I thought of? Instead, just focus on the now and stop thinking about what could have happened or these hypotheticals or, or all these possibilities like if COVID didn't happen. Focus on right now and what you can do to make right now the best it can be. Then create a vision board whether it's on like Pinterest or like an actual physical board and just look at that every single time you feel unmotivated and yeah you'll feel really good. And accept that you'll have bad days no matter what and have minimum expectations for every single day because then you'll succeed no matter what. If your only expectation for the day is do one math problem, you have the whole day to spend, I don't know, five minutes on one problem. And if that's the bare minimum, no matter what, you'll pretty much exceed that each day if you have your expectations really, really, really low. And finally, the last tip to conclude is sometimes it's okay to reevaluate. People are people and sometimes we change our minds. Sometimes you just realize the path or whatever that you're on on right now is not working so it's okay to reevaluate things. I love how like I'm not in the frame at all. Okay. Anyway, yeah. So those are all of my tips. I really hope you can use these because that's the goal that you feel good about school and good about whatever you're doing. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below whatever you want. Subscribe to my channel. Turn that notification bell on. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And I will see you next time. Bye.